delta p represents the uncertainty of momentum i am putting the value of c directly so what is the velocity of light we have to find out the uncertainty in velocity that is delta v in one dimensional region of length 2a not hello dear students welcome to ln overseas today we have brought this very important series for you that is 45 important topics in 45 days so this is important for your j mains 2024 okay and let me give you a brief idea about this series and that is it is divided into three parts 15 topics taken from physics 15 from chemistry and 15 are taken from mathematics right and i will be discussing this chemistry part in this series right fine so it is a very important day to start this series with chemistry and today we are going to start the very first topic of this series that is heisenberg uncertainty principle that is taken from the chapter atomic structure fine so let's start the topic okay this heisenberg uncertainty principle was given by werner heisenberg in 1927 okay it represented this principle which states that it is impossible to measure simultaneously the exact position and exact momentum of a body as small as an electron okay so what does this principle is saying this principle says that it is impossible to measure the exact position as well as exact momentum of a microscopic particle simultaneously means you cannot find the exact position and exact momentum of a microscopic particle at the same time it is impossible right so how we can represent this principle mathematically so mathematical representation is here this is the mathematical representation where delta x where delta x represents the measurement of position measurement uncertainty in the measurement of position delta x similarly delta p represents the uncertainty of momentum delta p uncertainty of momentum right and we know this momentum can be written as m into v so delta p can be written as m into delta v so in place of delta p we can write m delta v as well right where delta v is uncertainty in velocity right and this is equal to greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi this is the mathematical representation of this principle right now let's see how we can apply this principle so first of all we are going to see this question so this question is a proton is accelerated to 1/10th of the velocity of light okay so what is the velocity of this proton the velocity of the proton is 1/10th of the velocity of light so if i am saying that velocity of light is c then velocity of proton velocity of proton will be v or we can say velocity of light is c so c by 10 right so velocity of proton is c by 10 okay now if a velocity can be measured with a precision of plus minus 1% so the precision in the measurement of velocity is only plus minus 1% right so using this information we can find out the uncertainty in the measurement of velocity this is the velocity of proton so we are going to take the 1% of that that will give us the value of uncertainty in the measurement of velocity that is delta v right and what must be the minimum uncertainty in position so we have to find out the value of delta x in meter okay delta x in meter fine and here one more information is given h upon 4 pi is 5.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 35 right so now let's start solving it what formula we have to use delta x dot delta p greater than equal to h upon 4 pi this is the basic formula but here uncertainty in velocity is given so we have to write this formula delta x dot m delta v greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi right okay now i have to find out the delta x value so 
we can write this equation as delta x greater than equal to h upon 4 pi okay into here we have m into delta v m into delta v right this is the equation now first of all we have to find out the value of delta v then we will put that value here in this formula so let's say this is equation 1 okay and we have to find out the delta v value so delta v will be velocity of proton so it is c by 10 so i am putting the value of c directly so what is the velocity of light 3 into 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second divided by 10 this is the velocity of proton but the precision of the velocity is only 1 percent so into 1 by 100 into 1 by 100 right so after solving this what we are going to get we are going to get 3 into 10 raised to the power 5 meter per second right so we have got the value of delta v let's say this is equation 2 so we can put the value from the equation 2 value of delta v from the equation 2 in the equation 1 to find out the answer so let's see we have this equation delta x greater than or equal to now h upon 4 pi in place of h upon 4 pi we can put the value which is given in the quotient 5.2 5.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 35 this is the value of h upon 4 pi and uh, after that we have m into delta v so m is what mass of proton so mass of proton is 1.67 into 10 raised to the power minus 27 kilogram right into velocity delta v delta v value is 3 into 3 into 10 raised to the power 5 meter per second right and now we just have to solve this and after solving this we are going to get the answer that is 1.05 into 10 raised to the power minus 13 meter in meter you are going to get this value of uncertainty in the position okay so this will be your answer so you can see these questions are quite simple directly formula based questions you have to just put the values in the formula and you can calculate it so these are quite easy now let's see one more question related to the same concept okay so let's see this is the next question the minimum uncertainty minimum uncertainty in the speed of an electron in one dimensional one dimensional region of length 2 a naught where a naught is Bohr's radius which is 52.9 picometer is dash kilometer per second right so this is the this is basically a pyq previous year question okay you can see it was j main online asked in the j main online 2022 exam right so here what is given minimum uncertainty in the speed of an electron in one dimensional region we have to find out the uncertainty in velocity that is delta v in one dimensional region of length 2 a naught where what is a naught a naught is bohr's radius which is given as 52.9 picometer so we have to find out the delta v value in kilometer per second and other informations are given mass of electron is given 9.1 into 10 is to the power minus 31 kilogram Planck's constant h is given 6.63 into 10 is to the power minus 34 joule into second so let's see how we can solve this so first of all we will write the basic formula delta x into delta p greater than equal to h upon 4 pi okay this is the basic formula but we have to find out delta v so we have to convert this formula in terms of delta v greater than equal to h upon 4 pi okay we can find out the delta v from the formula but what is the value of delta x so delta x value first of all let's find out the delta x delta x is one dimensional reason okay that is in one dimension only and that is equivalent to 2 a naught so delta x is basically 2 a naught where a naught is bohr's radius so bohr's radius is given as 52.9 picometer but we are going to convert the picometer into meter so it will be 10 raised to the power minus 12 meter okay so this is the uncertainty in the position for the 
electron, right? So, this is the value of delta x. Now, we have to put this value of delta x in this formula. This is equation 1. This is equation 2. So, we have to put this value in this formula to find out the value of delta v. So, we can say delta v greater than equal to greater than equal to h upon 4 pi into m into delta x, right? So, we have to now just put the values and get the answer. So, value of h is 6.63 into 10 raised to the power minus 34 joule into second, okay? This is given in the question, okay? This is given in the question, right? And uh, 4 pi, so 4 into value of pi is 3.14 into mass, mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 raised to the power minus 31 kilogram, okay, minus 31 kilogram into delta x value, delta x is given as, okay, 2 into, 2 into 52.9 into 10 raised to the power minus 12 meter, okay. Now, we have to solve this delta v greater than equal to after solving this whole values you are going to get approximately 5.48 5.48 into 10 raised to the power 5 but the value will be in meter per second the value the answer will be in meter per second but here you can see that we have to find out the answer in kilometer per second kilometer per second so we can convert it right so, to convert it into kilometer, we have to divide this value by 1000. So, 5.48 into 10 raised to the power 5 divided by 1000. So, now you will get the answer 5.48 into 10 raised to the power 2 kilometer per second. And after multiplying this, you will get 548. So, this 548 kilometer per second this will be the correct answer of this question okay so this is how you can apply this concept very easily and solve the questions easily right so that's it from my side on this topic we'll be continuing this series so don't forget to watch the complete playlist the link is given in the description and if you have any suggestions or queries don't forget to write in the comment box we will surely revert you back Fine, so stay tuned with us. Thank you.